Are you a little afraid of using color? Well then, this video is for you because we are going to play with color. Hi, I'm Gail Sibley, artist, instructor, and blogger. And today I'm going to take you on a little bit of a color journey. In my demo, I'm going to paint a woman and her dog. But I'm not just going to paint what I see in the photo. Oh, no. No, we're going to play with color. You're going to see me completely change what's in the photo. The woman and her dog, yes, but everything else is going to be pretty changed. And why am I doing this? Because I'm really interested in the relationship between the woman and her dog. I'm interested in their pose, in their behavior, in their connection. What I am not interested in is copying the colors that I see in the photograph, because really they're boring and dull. And I want a painting that's alive and vibrant. And I want a painting that focuses on the connection between the dog and their companion. Remember, although I'm working in soft pastels, this idea of playing with color applies to any medium, be it oils, acrylics, watercolors, gouache, colored pencil. It all, you can use this idea in any medium. So let's go. Yeah, pushing color. Pushing color is all about knowing your values. So of course I'm going to do a thumbnail sketch. Uh, you can see in the sketch that there is very little dark. There's a dark on top of the dog, under the shadow of the coat on the woman, and a little bit on her legs. There's a lot of light value, and then the middle value is her coat, part of the dog, the cast shadows, and a little bit of a line at the back. And so the first thing I do is I put in those values so you can see the yellow, the orange, and the red. And I am not holding back when it comes to color. I, I know I can always tone it down. So I think if you really want to push color, the first thing to think about is to really exaggerate, really go bold with your color on that initial layer. So, and that's what I've done. And when I was thinking about doing her coat, I wasn't really 100% sure that I was gonna do it this bright color. I put it in knowing I could tone it down. And then I left it because I really loved this orange. And then the, you know, with her blue jeans. And then of course, using those colors across everything. So using them in the background and using them in the dog. And then using my, my layering to manipulate the brightness, the sort of intensity, and also to cool things down where I felt that it would be cooler. For instance, in the cast shadow. So we've got very warm colors in the figure and then the sort of cooler cast shadows. When the photo you'll see in on my blog, if you go to my blog, you'll see the original photo I worked from. You'll notice that in behind her, there's just a whole bunch of junk. It's like construction site. And I didn't want that. So that's why I just simplified the background. It doesn't really matter what's in the background. I just want, of course, the colors to relate to her and the dog. Now I need to push that if I want a sort of sense of realism, I'm gonna need to push those bright colors back, which is what I'm doing here, I'm just using that light color in the uh, upper part just to kind of push it back and also go over that orange with the middle value blue. You can still see though that I, it's still pretty colorful and the, the real trick is to stick in the values so you get those even though those colors in the background are a little bit grayed and I'll quotation mark that they still have a vibrancy to them and a lot of that is to do with the same value color over the same value, light over light, middle over middle, dark over dark. So playing with that, I think practicing that with your pastels, just making color swatches and just seeing what happens. And that way you can push your color, really exaggerate and make it bolder. So know your values, know your values. So even though I've been playing with color, I think it still looks representational. You can still see pretty clearly that there's a woman walking with her dog. You're not really sure what's going on in the background, but does it really matter? Remember, my intention is really about connecting these two companions to each other. How are they behaving? How are they walking together? 
And of course, I'm always interested in color. I love color. So playing with color is something I, uh, I do a lot of, and I encourage you to imagine and be bold with your color. Here are the eight pastels that I use. These are Unison Color from my Gail Sibley set. And you can see the darks on the left, the middle values in the middle, and the lights on the, on the right hand side. Uh, I love using a limited palette and you can still see though how much color I'm using here. Just those beautiful pure colors. But by layering, you can tone them down when you need to. And here is the final painting, <laughs> the orange coat, even though it was blue to begin with, dark blue, the orange coat unison color pastels on UART 400. It is six by six inches. Well, that was fun. Can you see how I totally changed up the colors from the photograph? As artists, we are not slaves to what we see. It's good to be able to see it, but we're not slaves to it. We have the power to change things up. If this video was helpful, let me know in the comments below. And also, let me know if you struggle with color or you struggle with playing with color. And who knows, maybe I'll see what I can do in upcoming videos. Now, have you just subscribed to my channel yet? You don't want to miss any of these upcoming videos, right? So go ahead and subscribe and click that bell. And uh, if you liked it, yeah. Be nice if you liked it as well. Click that like button. Be sure to share it with those who, anyone you know, who you feel struggles with color. Now, uh, if you found it helpful, I'm hoping that they will find it helpful as well. Now, you, you have a unique vision. So paint it and share it with the world. Thank you so much for being here with me and I'll catch you next time. How do you know if an artist has a pet dog? They're always looking for ways to unleash their creativity and add a little pop of color to their paintings. Oh, I don't like this one. <laughs> oh man. So paint it and share it with the world. And I'll, no. Well, that was fun.